Are you ready to make some amazing artwork with me using your fabric scraps and other supplies that you have on hand? So if you're a beginner, this is going to be a fun project for you. So we're going to turn any kind of fabric that you have, linens, textiles, tapestries, napkins, hankies, cotton fabric, organza, lace, you name it, and we're going to turn that into a beautiful piece of artwork. I'm Marcia. Welcome to Markets of Sunshine. And if you are looking for some beginner friendly, easy projects, then subscribe to my channel and I'm going to take you on a fabulous journey that you can start to embrace and unlock your creativity and use your own style. Find out what your own style is. And as you will watch me and you see how unique and different my style is from your own and other people's channels that you might be watching, I hope that you will find inspiration here. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so that you can find me again. So I started a slow stitch book and I wasn't sure what I was going to put in it. Well, then I finally decided I want this to be a fabric art journal, slow stitch book. And I want to use these for home decor. So I started the cover in another video and you can find that here on my channel. This piece was a collaboration that I did with another YouTube channel, Icky Chic, and her and I are doing landscape pieces uh, periodically, and we're gonna be doing them here on our channel. This was the first one. We have another one coming up in a few months. And then this one I is my second piece that I've done. Um, and I have a lot of different elements going on here. So I am naming each piece. So this is my tiny house uh, in the hills piece. This is my cat in the garden. So I made this cute, adorable little kitty cat applique piece. Isn't it precious? And this pattern will be in my Etsy shop as a slow stitch kit coming up very soon. It's not right there yet but you'll find the link to my Etsy shop in the description below so that you don't miss getting this little pattern. It's so adorable and precious. So what I did is I went through my fabric stash and the first thing I do is get a piece of batting and I cut it to the size of the book here. And then I went through and decided what do I want for the sky, the landscape, what's going to be going on, any focal points. So the focal point is mainly the kitty cat in this one. But there's a lot going on in the garden. This is the kitty cat in the garden theme. And so I have different things going on in the sky. And I mean, this is just like a piece that is completely and uniquely its own. And I love it. I love how it's turning out. And I just wanted to show you different elements that I've made. I haven't decided exactly where everything's going to be placed yet. Some things may not stay. I, I don't know. But this is just a, a lovely piece, and it's just truly evolving as I go. And um, it, it's just, that's the fun of, of doing these kinds of things. It's just unlocking your creativity and just seeing where, your creativity takes you. And that's what I love about the whole process of making things is just to see where does my imagination take me. <clears throat> so I'm just playing around right now with some of these elements. So the first thing I did was cut out these different background pieces and different shapes. No particular shape. This was kind of like a triangle shape. This is another larger triangle here. This is a square over here. I took this piece here and I um, it already had like a little hill going on so I cut that out and then um, different pieces of fabric that had flowers going on in it and I've just laid some trim down here that I'm going to sew on it. Took a piece of organza 
made this cute little flower cluster, uh, placing it here so that I've got all this blue going on over here. And then this, so it, it's, it's really fun how I've mixed and matched the muted tones with the brights on both sides. So here's like a, could it almost, this could almost be like a rock. <laughs> and then here's the sky, but I have like a leaf blowing through the breeze. And here's, this is like the sun right here. And um, so that I have the little button here again, and then I put some um, thread around that that I wanna sew this with. So I'm just placing different things here now. I have some fiber going on here. This is going to get sewn into place here. And then I cut out this piece. And just fussy cut it around that. And this was a linen piece. I fussy cut it around it. And saved the, you know, the bottom piece for later. And so now the fun part is when you come in now, once you get the elements, then you start working with placement. What do you want? Where do you want it? Um, that's where the fun really begins, and I just am loving watching this whole thing evolve and deciding on where where things are going to go, what do I want, how is it going to be, um, why is it there, and if I decide later on that, you know, something doesn't fit in exactly the way I was wanting it, doesn't go exactly, that's okay too. So more or less I would like to leave this um, flat. If I add this piece in, it's definitely uh, bulk, and I do have shadow box frames, but this is a little bigger than, um, this is a rectangle, and um, the shadow box is a square, so I would have to purchase something uh, bigger. But if you're going to use dimensional things, then definitely I would recommend getting a shadow box. So now something else that, that I like to do before I even get started, if you don't already have a piece that you can use for inspiration, is just get out paper and pencil, pen, and draw what is a favorite landscape scene to you. Now I live in Florida, so I could have drawn the beach. I'm only about half an hour from the beach. And we have a lot of palm trees, oak trees, pine trees, but the easiest thing for me to draw was the palm tree. And so that's why I put it on there. Birds, you have lots of birds here. Blue skies, sun, your ground down here. Uh, not, no, no real big hills where I live right here. The little tiny baby ones, you know. Um, but still, just to break up so basically this is to give you the different elements and layers that you would want to put in your uh, landscape piece. And so as you can see, I have five different sections going on here. And then you decide each time what is your focal point elements going to be. As in this piece, you can see it's the tiny house very clearly. And this piece is going to be the kitty cat very clearly. It doesn't matter what's going on around with it because I added a lot of extra elements to this. There's flower pots, there's seed beads going on, some embroidery stitches, some other little flowers that I put in here, buttons. I mean, so it just took this piece from just a plain blank landscape canvas to the beautiful art form that it turned into. The same thing with here, I'm gonna be adding some seed beads in here on this one and this that again that will take it from just this the the blank palette that I started off with with the fabric landscape painted it with the fabrics and then come in now with different elements this little piece here the fiber here the organza here the lace here the button and the, the kitty cat, I mean, the cat is definitely going to be the focal point. So I hope this has helped you. I hope it's inspired you. Um, in the next video, I will be showing you um, what I have did with this and all the elements and how I wound up placing them and what how I sewed each thing into place. What did I add to it? Um, I'm thinking I really want to add some sequins into this. I'm, I don't know why, but I just feel like that <clears throat> the sequence would really make it pop.
And so I'll probably sprinkle some sequins in around here. I just want this to be more shimmery. I really have the feel. I love the way the seed beads do that. It just makes it shimmer. And so this will definitely be, and this has got sparkle in this organza, so it's already got some shimmer going on. It catches the light, and I just want the piece to catch the light more. And I also have dimensional um, paints. These are really fun to use as well, the liquid pearls. So I'm thinking I might even come in with some of these liquid pearls and do some accenting on some of these flowers and over here maybe on this uh, rock and some of the flowers. How cute that would be. And then I could even, if I wanted to, could put him uh, two eyes if I wanted to, but I kind of like him like this. And I just cut off some little trim pieces for his whiskers for now. I don't know. I'm going to probably have to sew in some whiskers. But isn't this cute? I hope this really helped inspire you and helped to show you how diverse our fabric art landscape pieces can be, how you can take your slow stitching to the next level and use more than just your stitches, uh, which I will, I will accent this piece with stitches, but how you can use other elements in here too and the fun little shapes I think is just the perfect little addition to make these pieces absolutely beautiful works of art. So your home decor can now truly be yours and your style. And I think this is um, gonna be a wonderful series. So now this is a series, it will continue and I will continue to add more of these landscape pieces with the fabric art and scraps of fabric and whatever to each page in this book and then once I frame it, once I decide what I'm going to do, then um, we're going to, I'll show you how to do that and what I did with that and then where I wind up using the piece. So thank you for joining me here today. Please watch my next video and if you want to see more of my slow stitching projects, I have a soft book project, lots of fabric scrap projects. If you're into paper crafting, I have a lot of junk journal videos, I have quilt videos. So lots of different variety here for you to watch and to be entertained with. And I really appreciate your support. It really helps me out. So share my video with anyone that you think would be interested. And stay safe, keep creating in the sunshine, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.